Good afternoon. My name is uh, Stephen Thompson, the Reverend Dr. Stephen Thompson. I'm just introducing you now to the most beautiful language that I've ever come across. It's called the Sanskrita language. Sanskrita means perfected, also called the conscious language. It has led to the science of linguistics. This Sanskrita language has not been surpassed by any other as we know in the world. And I'm just going to introduce you to the beautiful sounds of this language. Just a little taste of it. And I start, as you probably would expect, from the source for all sounds. We call it... Sometimes that's called the Pranavashabda, the word. And it's symbolised by a dot by a di <laughs> this uh, diamond shape here. And out of that ohm comes the first sound from which all the other sounds come, which is the You can hear that's a simple sound that even a child makes at birth. And from that simple R, all the other sounds arise. They are modified, uh, first of all, by the five positions of the human mouth. We have this guttural position, we have the palatal position, the cerebral position, the dental, and the labial. And so we have five simple vowels corresponding to those positions. And I'd like you to just hear those, just to get a taster of them. So from, first of all, we have And these five simple vowels have three measures. So there is a, 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 e, 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 re, 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 u, u, u. So from those five simple positions of the human mouth arise the five families of consonants. There are, in fact, 33 consonants in the Sanskrit alphabet. This beautiful uh, alphabet is considered to be akshara, that is, indestructible, because out of it come, apparently, all the words that are in the universe, and from those words come the, the universe itself. So you'd like just to hear the first family of consonants that come from the R. Listen carefully, and you could say them after me. So, R, R, R. From that simple, those three measures, we have the first consonant, A, K, A, K. And then the one following it, K, 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 K. And then, G, 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 G. Finally, ha. And so the whole family of the guttural family, called kanta in Sanskrit, arise from this simple R sound. So, ha, ka, ka, ga, ga, na, ha. When you uh, take up this wonderful study, you will find that the simple practice of the sounds actually opens the heart, opens the mind, and cleanses the being. So the Sanskrit language is famous for its power of both knowledge and purity. It will purify the being through the practice of it. So I would recommend that you explore one of the uh, courses in Sanskrit which are being advertised for the first time on this site. Let us just hear the simple vowels once more. Five simple vowels. So we have a, a, e, e, re, 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 u, u. And all of those come from that sound, which is the sound from which the whole universe is said to come, which is o. That will bring you 
to an experience of great peace that I can. Om.